prepping all the colonies to, for diapause, which this colony is not really indicating that they want to go to sleep. <laughs> I haven't had heat on them since I was, well, since last, oh, the end of July, beginning of August. Because my, my thermostat broke and I had to order one when I was in Illinois. I got it. I got it, but I haven't set it up because I knew I was going to be moving home. But I'm going to be setting up the colonies that I'm going to have hibernating. I'm going to set them up in the basement. And then the other, I'm probably not going to have my harvester ants hibernate. And get that heating coil set up. and That way I have some ants for videos and stuff through the winter. These guys, as you can see, there's even a male in there right now. Okay, while well, these guys are watered, I'm going to move on to the next colony. Okay, well, this is from Micah Colony. It's not, doesn't have any eggs, so they look like they're ready. I've got honey on them. I need to give them some water. Let's do that now. Let's see if we can. And I got it to do the nest mate, too. It's got to get some water put in it. Nice, I've got five syringes I can use to, so I don't have to be constantly going and refilling them. Not that much. Looks good. What I'm going to do is, uh, I've got an, I've got an extra Plug that I will use So to do the nest mate, I like to have an extra plug. I can pull out the nest mate and then plug the, the hole as I'm filling it. Try to clean up the, the end. Take your finger, plug the end of the nest mate as you fill it. Because without the plug, the water could just run right back out. You can tell the nest mates are getting older because the, the plugs have to go in farther because they get stretched out. me back in. I like to try to make sure I get it past so it's not touching the wall of the manure earth because if it's not if it's flush sometimes the water will grab onto the wall of the mini hearth and just pull the water right out of the tube which it did pretty good this time. So. Okay, second one is down. Okay, the orange ants, they, they're gonna need water in their reservoir and in their nest mate also. I cleaned these girls out yesterday. Pulled the glass and I could put 
too much water. That's about a little more than half. And let's try and do the same with this one. This colony had quite a bit of die off. Because it was a very large that orange giant colony that I had gotten from a customer's yard when I was doing her yellow jacket removal. And do the same thing. Okay, we're going to do this with all the other colonies. I'll get some footage of the insides of each colony, but I'm not going to take you through the adding water to all of them. These are all the colonies that I'm going to be putting into hibernation. Well, that one, I thought I didn't, uh, I guess the water was a little fuller than I thought. Which they don't seem to mind it. Some of them, they're drinking it in the back there. So This one had a lot of dead inside here and along the back. And then there was a bunch over in this corner too. Being such an old colony, the workers that were in there were probably pretty old. So Okay, that one's done. This colony has uh, been doing pretty good. They all look like they're ready to to sleep. They've been gathering in the backs of the the chambers, all clumped together. Did a real thorough cleaning of their outworld, also. So I think this. I I think it was the harvester ants or this one. I know I cleaned this one pretty thoroughly yesterday. I did all of them, cleaned the glass and everything. This one had um, a lot of debris, and one of the magnets had come off on me. So I had, I had ants all over the place. I didn't realize it had come loose until I was seeing them crawling around the, around the room. <laughs> Harvester Ant Colony is, I think this is the one I got for Thanksgiving last year on the Thanksgiving sale. They're not growing as quickly. They do have a pretty good pile there of larvae. This is one I haven't really been able to film because the glass was so dirty I couldn't even see in. I got it them clean really well yesterday give them some water and uh, when I was cleaning them uh, I don't think you can see it no shoot uh, yellow jacket was coming after the, the honey oh, there one's got an antenna if you look real close the one right there it's got one of the yellow jackets antenna and then up top here pieces of the yellow jacket So they had themselves a meal of yellow jacket yesterday. Get them some water and it'd be nice to be able to film these guys now that we can actually see in. This is for my cacony. I think this is one of my multi-queen conies. You can see one of the queens right here. Might be anywhere. Maybe not. I can't tell. But they're they're all getting ready for winter. I'm gonna give them some water. 
and then I'm gonna move them to their hibernating area which I will show you at the end of the video where they've got I'm gonna get them set up at so. this colony I don't know if I'm gonna put them in hibernation yet or not they've got a ton of pupa it is a multi-queen colony Just keep them up here with the heat. Once I get the heat going for my harvester ants, I might just keep this one with that too. Still gotta give them some water. I gave them some new honey yesterday and looks like they kinda spilled all over the place. The wood ants are ready to hibernate. Looks like they're already turned. This one I cleaned yesterday, this was completely packed with old uh, cocoons and dead insects. They wouldn't they weren't really putting any other garbage outside of the nest, up in the outworld. That's the one side, and this one's the one that's got two. Mini Earth XLs. As you can see, they're already kind of settling in. They'll be moving to the wintering area. The carpet rats are definitely ready for their hibernation. They're actually pretty much in hibernation for about a month now. They've got their clusters of winter, small winter larvae there. And they've all gathered all over the place in the, in the colony. Hardly any out in the outworld anymore. I'm gonna add water to them and them move to the wintering area. Next for mica colony, getting ready to give them some water and get them moved into the yeah, they're pretty much also in their hibernation state. They're not no more eggs or or anything. some more water, just like all the other colonies. Got the heating coil hooked up for the harvester ants, and they are loving it because they're all gathered right over the top of where the heating cable is going underneath.
So I'm telling you, I'm waiting for Tar Heel Lance to get another Labyrinth in. So I can move these guys into that. This is some of the Polyergus colony. Don't have a queen or anything. It's just a bunch of the, the workers in there. Slave ants in there. Fortunately, I was not able to find a queen this year. But at least I do have some workers to, to look at. Mr. Ants are staying up in my room with the heating cable. I've got my and here's where they're wintering. This is in the can cellar in the basement. Should be cool enough for them to hibernate. It's not too bad down here right now, but when it gets cooler the doesn't freeze because where we keep our canned food and stuff. But it should be good. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll be coming out with some more with the, of the harvester ants and stuff. More videos of those. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought. And if you're not subscribed, please do that right now. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.